Tonight's live action from the FA Cup first round on Sky Sports, bringing you the best football service in the world, is proudly sponsored by Carlsberg. ago, Brentford made it to the quarter-finals of the FA Cup. They went out to the eventual winners, Liverpool. It was a thoroughly enjoyable run for all involved, though. This was the win that created that little piece of history. Two against Blackburn for Gary Blissett in a fifth-round tie. Didn't he and those travelling Brentford fans love it? Underdogs then, tonight very much favourites, as the third division leaders, Brentford, take on fourth division Gillingham in this first-round FA Cup tie at Griffin Park in West London. Our second live tie from the first round of the FA Cup, if you were with us on Saturday, you'll know that the first between Mansfield and Preston was abandoned because of thick fog after about 33 minutes. We're keeping our fingers crossed this evening. Our guest is Ron Atkinson. Welcome, Pigman. Good evening. Now, you've lost at both the semi-final stage of the FA Cup and in the first round when you were managing Cambridge. What's worse? Yeah, everybody said the semi-finals are the worst round to lose in. Believe you me, it's not. I mean, I was at Cambridge when we got beat at Leatherhead in the days of Ned Kelly and so forth. And that is horrible. That really is, that really is a blow. Um, it'll be a blow for either of these clubs if they go out tonight. It's funny, you know, stepping into a ground where there's an FA Cup tie about to be played, there's, there's a lovely feeling about the place, isn't there? Yeah, I mean, you can take all the competitions, World Cups or what, there is something special about the FA Cup. It probably is the most magic cup competition there is. Well, as I said, we were at Field Mill on Saturday night where we had a, a smashing tie for about 33 minutes or so. And then the fog came, rolled in from all corners. Two boys that you can see on your screen there were out and about on the night. That's Andy Gray and Martin Tyler. Welcome both. Martin, what can you see from your vantage position tonight? Sir, uh, there is one difference, Richard, because at kickoff time, at Mansfield, there was no sign of the fog, as you well remember, I'm sure, and there's no sign of fog tonight. But tonight, we can see uh, rain sleeting down, but don't you worry, we're men for all seasons. <laughs> I think that's true, Andy, isn't it? Good trip down? Yes, quite uneventful. I was chauffeured down by the boss there. I thought he did a very good job as well, Richard. I'd have to congratulate him on his driving. <laughs> um, and a totally uneventful, looking forward to it. As as you would expect, talking about the FA Cup and what good memories him and I have got. Some good, some bad. <laughs> we'll hear more from Andy and Martin Tyler a little later, of course. Uh, let's have a look at the second round draw, which was made a little earlier today. I'm sure that some of you might be catching up on this for the first time as well. No, we can't at the moment. But some juicy ties, Ron. Oh, here we go. Got it at last. Carlisle United or Crew against Chester City. <laughs> Gretna or Rochdale against Huddersfield Town, what a marvellous title. That's a smashing one for either one. If it's Rochdale, I mean, Huddersfield's a local one for them, you know, and that'll be, that'll be a good crowd for them, yeah. Wrexham against Stoke or Telford, Burnley yes. or Doncaster against Scunthorpe or Rotherham, York City against Tranmere Rovers, Darlington against Hartlepool. Should mention as we go through this that we'll have two of these ties live here on Sky Sports, Bolton and Bradford City, Mansfield or Preston against Whitton Albion or Halifax, Blackpool against Hull City, Wigan Athletic against Stockport County, Aylesbury against Atherston or Hereford United, Leighton Orient against West Bromwich, that could be a good one, Peterborough against Slough Town or Reading, Enfield against Barnet. Good tie that, Windsor and Eton or Woking against Yeovil or Walsall, Colchester United or Exeter City against Swansea, Hayes against Crawley, Maidstone United against Kettering Town or Wickham Wanderers, Torquay against Hales Owen or Farnborough, and Bournemouth against Brentford or Ginningham. Some juicy ties there. Nick Collins has been taking a closer look at some of them. Leighton Orient left it late against non-league Welling in round one. Mark Cooper with the decisive touch, and they'll need to do a lot better against West Bromwich Albion. Albion will be relieved to have avoided non-league opposition, even though they put six past Marlow. Their match at Orient looks to be the tie of the round. In the north, John Aldridge's 300th goal of his career sparked Tranmere to a 3-0 win at Runcorn. Now Aldo and Tranmere have to visit York City. The fourth division side squeezed past Bridlington in round one. York v Tranmere looks another good tie. Gretna came close to upsetting Rochdale in round one, but they now have to replay away. If they